Good morning, Nam. No, not Vietnam, but Nam. Nam, the National Association of Music Merchants, and they've been doing this show here since 1976. Actually, they started in 1902, but they didn't do it here because this wasn't here. And today, we're going to go inside and we're going to explore all of the cool stuff that's there. There are things in there that I have absolutely no idea what they're for, but somebody does, and they really like them. But there's so many things in there that I want to touch, that I want to play, that I want to see, that I want to be a part of. And I want all of you to come in there with me. I'm Rick Snyder with Rico's Blues News and the Left Coast Blues Alliance. And we're going to go check out NOM and you're going to come with us. Hi, this is Rico and I am here with Simon Campley from G7, the best capo money can buy. And I can attest to that because I personally use G7 and many of my friends do and they are awesome. Simon, tell us a little bit about the product. So the Performance 3 is our main capo. They're very easy to use because you drop it on the neck and you squeeze it in place. That's it, it locks. You have infinite control over the pressure you want to put on your strings and then to release you just lift the lever up. So you squeeze to put it on and you squeeze to take it off. And then this is the, the third generation. This is, as I say, the Performance 3. And under this string pad, now this kind of looks quite flat at the moment, if you can see that. But if I squeeze in the middle, that starts to form a radius. So this will adapt to the radius of whatever instrument you put it on. It's meaning you can go from a seven and a quarter inch vintage Fender with light strings and slap it straight on a Martin with medium strings and a 16 inch radius. And you don't have to think about it. You just put it on and you squeeze. And because you have that control and that adaptive radius, the tuning stability you get from these is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. I, I love mine, and I tell you, there's never a problem with it. You put it on, everything sounds up perfectly. It's a beautiful thing, and of course, K.K. Martin, who is a, a G7 endorsed artist, loves his and uses them in a variety of different ways, much more efficiently <laughs> than I do. But then again, that's his job and not mine. True. So this is the newest thing. Is there anything else that's going on with uh, G7? We haven't got masses of new products coming out, but we uh, we also have a spring capo that we call the Nashville. Uh, the spring capos are massively popular. They're so easy to use. You know, you squeeze and release. But what we've tried to do diff that's different to the spring capos that are on the market, we've tried to make them look absolutely beautiful. This is one of our newer finishes uh, in the blue. It's got a bit of sparkle to it, so it looks great. We've tried to make them easier to open and close, because sometimes they can be a real hand workout. We've tried to reduce the pressure that's been put down on the strings, so there's less chance of tuning issues. And then the string pad here, on a lot of spring capos, it's quite a thick piece of rubber, and that compresses a lot, and it just kind of sucks a bit of tone out of your instrument. Okay. This is very, very thin silicon rubber, with a metal piece behind it and so the tone you get from this is amazing they sound great on your guitar so uh, yeah they're, these are great great capos they've been they're and it's, it's a personal preference among musicians uh, as to what they want yeah that's it and we want to make sure you know we call ourselves g7 the capo company right we want to make sure that we have offerings for everybody who wants it so we've got beautiful spring capos we've got our unique performance style capos. We've got the flip lever capos as well. But these are our most popular models and yeah, lots of new colors available in these. And uh, along with the beautiful colors, I know that if somebody asks, you will actually engrave something. This is true. Yes, we do uh, customizable engraving. That's only direct through our website. And obviously, it costs a little bit extra, but you know, you need a birthday gift for someone and you want to, or, or you've got people that you know in your van who they keep lifting your capos and you can't keep hold of them. Then you can say, well, I know that's mine because it's got my name on it. <laughs> that's a great idea. I love it. I love it. All right. My question of the day. Hmm? Has AI impacted your business in any way? I'm pleased to say that at the moment, AI hasn't had a huge impact on the business. But we do occasionally use ChatGPT when we just want to fresh a bit of copy you know we'll have written something whether it's like a, a press release or for social media and we'll be like that doesn't quite pop so we'll stick it into chat GPT see what it comes back we'll do a little comparison we'll cherry pick a few bits here and there and it just kind of refreshes things a little bit so yeah for us we've not had any uh, anything come up we don't feel like AI is, is threatening us in any particular way yet 
Uh, we're waiting for the rise of machines and terminators to start coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> All right. Well, so thank you so very much. Always a pleasure to see you. Yeah, you talk. Goodbye, Nam. No, not Vietnam, but the Nam Show. We're thrilled that you were part of our journey at the 2024 Nam Show. Your presence made the experience even more special. Stay connected with us by following Rico's Blues News on Facebook and subscribing to our YouTube channel. The Nam Show has truly rebounded in the post-pandemic era, offering a diverse array of experiences that cater to all tastes, not just for blues enthusiasts. Here's looking forward to sharing more exciting moments with you on Rico's Blues News and through the Left Coast Blues Alliance. Goodbye for now.